What's up everyone, Dapplade here with a quick information video regarding the Day 2 limited bounties of the Summer Twilight Festival in Monster Hunter World. Now just like the Spring Blossom Festival, the limited bounties will be changing daily. So over the course of the Summer Twilight Festival, I hope to bring you very quick videos just informing you what the actual daily limited bounties are, and if they're worth doing. Now remember as well, before anyone asks, the limited bounties, the time that they reset, differs from region to region. For example, I know folks over in the States will probably still have yesterday's limited bounties. However, over in Europe, they have now changed over to day two. But anyway, let's go on to talk about what the actual limited bounties are today. Now we have four of them. The first is a field research limited bounty event. This is just like yesterday's and it's to complete two event quests. They can be at high or low rank so it's pretty straightforward. And for doing so you'll get research points, some armor spheres, a summer twilight ticket and some twilight fireworks. Next is an ecology survey to hunt Anjanath. We have to hunt two of these monsters. This again can be a high or low rank so it shouldn't prove too difficult for players out there. And for doing so you'll get research points, an Armosphere Plus, another Summer Twilight Ticket, and some more Twilight Fireworks. Next is another Ecology Survey to hunt Azure Raphalos. We have to hunt one high ranked version of this monster. And for doing so, you'll get research points, an advanced armor sphere, another summer twilight ticket, and even more twilight fireworks. And then finally is our standard general limited bounty to complete all of today's other limited bounties. And for doing so, you get your standard research points, the heavy armor sphere, which is worth collecting, another summer twilight ticket, and even more twilight fireworks. There's no elder dragons that players are required to take down today, so it shouldn't prove too difficult. Also, if you're up for a challenge and want to get these done quickly, consider doing the event quest a nose for an eye, as this will tick off all of the limited bounties if you do it two times. The only downside is you'll be fighting tempered versions of Anjanath and Azure Raphalos. But for people at end game, this shouldn't be too difficult. But anyway, I hope this little video has helped, and until next time, I've been Dartblade, bringing you a quick information video regarding the Day 2 limited bounties for the Summer Twilight Festival in Monster Hunter World. Hope you enjoyed the little video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.